Hey guys, so the iPhone 15 is coming soon with Dynamic Island for all that is for Standard Plus Pro and Pro Max. Yeah, it is fun to play with. We saw that last year, so not something new, but Notch is gone. This year, however, the exciting change is they are ditching the mute slider and we have a clickable button instead which is not just a mute trigger. So a huge news coming in, source code from iOS 17 confirms that the new action button is gonna have 9 different options that users can customize and assign to different actions like single press for this, double press for that. So you guys can assign the action button to open, accessibility, shortcuts like sending a message or controlling song, the iconic silent mode, camera, flashlight, focus, magnifier, translate and voice memo. So again those get in the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max would have to learn how to use the action button which is fine and something new to play with. This isn't just an upgrade. It's a breakthrough. Some news coming in. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus will start from $799 and $899. So not something expensive. That along with Dynamic Island Type C port, huge battery size and tiny top side and chin. Yeah, hot deal overall. The 15 Pro from $1099 and the Pro Max from $1299 that is like the biggest jump I've seen maybe cause a 6x periscope camera or a 17 Bionic which as per leaks will be powerful and power efficient and not to mention news from China suggest the battery size of 15 Pro Max is 4852 mAh so that is a huge jump like this device may go more than 2 days without any issue. Finally, news coming in from Korea says Apple is asking suppliers like Samsung and LG to design bezel-less OLED iPhone displays and some rumors suggest we may see such a design in the iPhone 17 Pro Max. So this all guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.